Wanted to do a quick one on rod bolts. Um, if you're doing any, anything with the Gen 3 Chevrolet engines, the 4.8, the 5.3, the 5.7, the 6.0, all that stuff, the earlier versions of those motors, they had connecting rod bolt issues. And I don't really know if that's true or not, but when you get on the internet and you start to do your research, you're gonna find a lot of people talking about connecting rod bolts. Some people are gonna swear that you have to upgrade them to an ARP bolt or something like that. Other people are gonna say the, it's more likely that the rod fails before the bolts, the bolts are a waste of money. You're gonna hear things like, if you go to ARP bolts, you need to have the rods resized because the ARP bolts apply a clamp load differently to the rod, so it distorts the big end of the rod differently, all that stuff. So there really is no definitive argument or definitive proof that I was able to find online. Uh, so I decided I would check it myself. So what we're gonna do is I've got this rod put together with a set of ARP bolts, ARP assembly lube, and uh, they're torqued to ARP specs, which is 40 foot pounds. I got my dial bore gauge. We're gonna stick it in there. Uh, this is set up for the diameter of the crank journal, uh, for the, or the rod journal on the crankshaft. I actually measured that with a micrometer. I didn't just go off of the spec. So this is set up exactly correct. We're gonna measure this, then we're gonna do it again with the stock bolts, uh, torqued to GM spec, and see if anything changes. All right, here we go. See right there, we got not quite two thousands, 1.9. Rotate this about 90 degrees. The glare is in the way, but you can see we have two 2.1, something like that, 21 thousandths or 2.1 thousandths. Rotate a little more, and we're back to our 1.9. Come around over here, right at two. So we've got. So with the ARP bolts, we had uh, between 1.9 and 2.1 thousandths of clearance. Uh, it was very consistent all the way around. Uh, there was almost no out of round. It's a used rod bearing, so I'm totally okay with that. Two thousandths, two and a half thousandths, that's what I was looking for. 19 is a little tight, uh, but it's not anything that I'm going to concern myself with. So that one, we're very round. Everything is in good shape with the ARP bolts. Let's swap them out. We're going to do a set of stock bolts and the GM spec, which is a torque, and then a degree, uh, that's 15 foot-pounds, and then an additional 60 degrees of rotation. And then we'll check our, our bearing clearance again and see if it's any different. All right, we're at GM torque spec now with GM bolts. Let's see what we got. Two, right at two. Two point one, a little over two, maybe two point two. And you guys can't see it, but I'll look. That one is right at two as well. Right at two, 2.2 all the way around. So as you can see, there's not a whole lot of difference in the distortion of the big end of the rod between the ARP rod bolts and the stock rod bolts. Uh, only about three ten thousandths difference on the smallest dimension. So as far as having to have the rods resize, if you're gonna use ARP rod bolts, that three ten thousandths, for most of us out there, I don't think that's gonna be critical. I think you'd probably be okay. Uh, if that is, maybe that is critical on your build. I don't know, uh, but on this on this rod today, that was the difference was three ten thousandths. And in my opinion, especially for what I'm doing, it's just not a significant enough number to warrant the cost associated with machining the rod. The next question is whether or not the ARP rod bolts are needed, whether that's a worthwhile upgrade or not. 
I still think that a connecting rod failure is more likely or more common than a rod bolt failure, even with the stock rod bolts. So if the rod's gonna fail, it doesn't really matter what bolts are in there. So if you got your stuff together, it's running, etc. I don't think I would go into it specifically to install the ARP rod bolts. However, if you got it apart and they're easy to get to, like I am here where everything's all torn apart, at that point, the rod bolts are relatively inexpensive, less than $100. So why wouldn't you just go ahead and get that extra little bit of insurance when you put the engine together? So that's sort of my opinion on it. Yours may vary. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, I hope this helps some of you guys out there. I hope this helps you guys with uh, trying to decide what to do on the ARP bolts versus the stock bolts, the concerns about the distortion of the cap, the distortion of the big end of the rod, etc. cetera. Uh, I just I hope this helps you guys. Good luck with your builds out there. I appreciate you watching. Uh, hit the like button. Hit that subscribe button. Thanks again. And everybody have a good day. And go out there and build stuff, man. Get your stuff done. Go do some go do some work. So see y'all later.